Hi there folks, in this video I'm going to take a closer look to this device right here which is the Boya XM6 S1 wireless microphone. Why you might ask? Well because audio is often quite overlooked when it comes to videos that you see on YouTube like vlogging stuff or some other photography channels and whatnot. Uh, you know there's a saying that good bad audio can make a good video really bad and over the last year or so I have been you know trying to to nail my my audio setup for for doing videos which I started doing more of in the past year or one and a half basically and um, I recently invested in a well last year in a shotgun mic by Rode the video mic NTG which I place an image of right here I really like that a lot and uh, brilliant sound it's just road quality uh, but I'm not going to go into that microphone for this video I'm going to talk about this one that is mounted to my I don't know if you can see it right now it's mounted to my jacket and this wireless solution is uh, become very popular you see a lot of, of youtubers having a system like this and uh, this video is going to be like a very quick quick rundown of what this thing can do and we'll throw a range test in there because it should be able to go up to 100 meters and I'm curious to find out what kind of uh, frequencies of the sounds around me this this thing will pick up um, it's an omnidirectional microphone so it should record like stuff around me not directional like the shotgun mic is and the beauty of this thing is that if I if I walk away we're gonna do a range test later on but the audio should stay the same right now and with the shotgun mic I'm of course limited to having the camera uh, having the, the microphone on top of the camera and kind of stay within this range of the of the camera and um, I'm just gonna gonna head out that way now there's a river over there and I will do a range test on the way there or once we get to it and then I will also try and record some of the the ambient or environmental sounds around me right now so let's go and do a first range test I'm gonna walk from here maybe up to the next field there and I'll keep talking to you guys and um, Probably the connection is going to be okay. The microphone will be recording, I guess, right now. We will find out once I get back to the camera. Uh, but there's nothing here around me. No trees. It's like... Right now I think I'm at, I don't know, maybe almost... 30 50 meters away from the camera i have no clue <laughs> point here and talk a bit more to you guys face the camera now so there's like a direct connection and a straight line in front of the camera now so there should be no no problems here and uh, yeah also let me know in the comments below what you think of the sound quality um, I think this microphone is close to the Rode system. The first couple of tests I did with it sounded really good. You know, it has like a nice range of tones it can capture. The audio is nice and clear. Doesn't sound too muffled. Even now I have the Dead Cat on there, which is basically wind protection. Uh, because it's it's quite a windy day and it's kind of a safety so you don't get this yeah rambling wind noise which is always the worst enemy for audio and um, if everything I've told you right now was not recorded uh, maybe I'm picking up again now as I'm walking back to the camera and uh, there is you know nothing more to it this was just the first little range test We'll do another one further down. So as you have all noticed, there were a couple of cutouts and I've already learned that 
facing away from the camera is not the best thing to do with the system. You really need a direct line between the transmitter and the receiver or the transmitter and the receiver, I mean, <laughs> uh, in order for it to work. And I think when I walked back from, from here to the camera, I think, um, you know, it showed that it the range is quite good. You just have to be walking like this, I guess, facing the camera. Um, because, yeah, if you turn around, as, you, as you've seen, you will get those cutouts. So... It's good to get to know this system like this. This is a, a first test for me as well. And I'm just sharing the experience with you here. And um, yeah, so far I'm, I'm not disappointed. Uh, it is to be expected if you cut off the direct line. Here we go again. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be the word for this video, direct line. But anyways, yeah, if you face away from the camera, it kind of makes sense for the connection to get a bit unstable. Uh, but let's keep on walking to the river and uh, do some more tests over there. So there's a boat coming on the river. Uh, it will be here in, I guess, one or two minutes. And I have a bit of walking left to do. So I'll just try and get my way to the river um, in order to, to capture the sound of yeah, things around me while I am talking into this microphone. Because this is an omnidirectional microphone, it, um, it should pick up stuff around me, which I want it to do. Um, you know, a lot of the times you see microphones that people use and they really want to narrow the recording down to their voice, which makes sense. And I want to record my voice in a clear way as well. But I also, yeah, I want to capture the, the nature sounds around me or in this case, you know, a boat or transport or whatever. Whoops. As long as it's not peaking or disturbing, then I want it to be in there because that's what the whole experience of, of doing these videos or at least my videos is all about. So maybe you can hear it right now, behind me, <coughs> sorry, behind me there's the river and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a boat on it now and I'll face that way and I'm curious to see if this microphone picks up any of the sound the boat is making, the engine and the water. I'll try and stick around for the waves to hit the shore, which I think this boat will make some waves. And uh, yeah, just, I really hope this system picks up some of the environmental sounds as well. Let's stand still. Yeah, and I'm, I'm watching the uh, audio metering on my screen, on the flip out screen on the Fuji X-T4. And I think it's picking up some of this boat sound right now right now the boat is almost gone so let's do another range test i think this should be fine this distance turning away from the camera uh, so i'm going to walk backwards like this now hopefully i won't trip this would make a funny video if i do and um yeah as i as i walk back i can tell you a little bit about this place i have been here last year flew the drone out here and i'll show you a link to that video right now there's a small stream running out into the bigger river here and that one over there is like a snaked like a snaky shape like an s-shaped river it's meandering its way through the through the fields and the landscape um, looks really cool. Right now it's a bit windy, so let's see how this thing deals with that and keep walking backwards because otherwise this range test will take forever. <laughs> this feels kind of funny though, walking backwards like this. But yeah, as we just discovered earlier that 
the connection is probably going to be there and here we go again I'm going to say it again is within direct line with the camera so you know still walking backwards I have to kind of watch my step here and I don't know how far away I am if this is already a hundred meters or not I think it's less like 70 maybe so I'll keep walking back and yeah see how far this thing can go again there's not a lot of um, things here that is obstructing the signal so I really hope this walking backwards pays off <laughs> we'll find out I think I'm gonna stop here and start walking back this is much easier <laughs> and um, yeah so you know even if it doesn't reach out or turn out to be a hundred meters of range to me that is not that important because I'm not sure if I feel too comfortable um, in all of the places I visit to be away from my camera that far 100 meters you know camera sitting on a tripod in the distance and I go to the Faroe Islands Iceland and Norway a lot where the weather is windy and stormy and those conditions I like them the most so I will be out in these these kind of conditions and uh, yeah you just don't want your your camera to to be a hundred meters away from you catching wind and falling down or whatever so a little bit more about the microphone itself the receiver has the option to monitor audio which I'm doing right now you can plug in your headphones from there and listen to it but I will take them off right now and uh, battery life you know in the box on the box it says that it should last up to five five six hours uh, for this for this kit which I think is not super impressive but also not super bad and the good thing about this system though is that it charges over USB-C so you know if you're traveling with the car or if you bring your uh, power bank with you you will be able to to charge them while you are uh, doing stuff on the go uh, not sure about the charge times but you know at least you will be able to get some charge back into them as soon as they drop and five up, up five up to six hours is still still pretty decent I think that's uh, you know translates to a day of shooting and um, these microphones have a nice LED screen on here that shows you uh, some information uh, it shows you the level there's uh, you can set the gain on this thing manually with the plus with the up and down button basically volume buttons so there's not really that much to this system uh, in terms of it being a complicated system to work with it's very very easy to work with uh, it doesn't take much learning to figure out how it works it's it's plug and play you attach the receiver to the camera and then you just walk off with the transmitter and that's it and in the box there's also a lavalier mic uh, that you can plug into the to this microphone here and then you can wire it nicely through your clothing and hide it under your 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 color or whatever and um, that's that's kind of cool for the situations where you really really want to use an even more um, discreet option I think this this thing is pretty small you know it hardly you can see it's there but it's not like not bulky or big or, or something like that so for the most part I'm going to be comfortable with this down the line I will try out the lavalier mic as well and um, what else can I say about it yeah it's just a simple system to use and there's two versions of it available right now there's the S1 version the one that I'm using which includes one transmitter and one receiver and there's an S2 version that has two transmitters and one receiver so that kit is ideal in case you're doing interviews or podcasts or just 
happen to be in a situation where you have to mic up somebody for, yeah, as I said, an interview or want to have an extra source of, of audio coming in to your videos. Uh, for me, for the most part, that's not going to be the case. I'm going to use it for my, my solo videos, basically. And in case I do need a second uh, source of audio, I can always use... I have a Zoom H1 handy recorder, which is portable as well. And my uh, road mic, shotgun mic, goes in there th uh, through a cable. So I can, I can always use that as a second or even... Like a, like a backup solution to this in case I needed to have more audio inputs than just this. And I think that wraps up this unofficial test, review, uh, whatever, of the Boya XM6 S1 that I'm using right now. I will be using this on the future, my future videos, so probably the audio you're going to hear from now where I'm talking to you guys is going to go through this kit and now I will keep on walking a little bit more since I'm out anyways and maybe I will take a photo because this is a photography channel in the end and reviewing things is is cool but will never be the main thing for this channel uh, just wanted to show you what this system sounds like as there's another boat coming so I hope the audio picks it up So okay, one more cool thing about this device is that you can also, if you're planning on doing interviews, you can, you don't have to attach this microphone to your camera or to your uh, your clothing. You can walk around with it like this. It's very small. So it's a tiny device, and and you know, as the interviewee, you can just listen to other people like this and record their audio. And when you're done, you just chuck this thing in your pocket. Very, very nice. I will head out this way, see if there's a shot to be had on the other side of this puddle. And right now there's a boat in the river that is very loud. It sounds like an old diesel engine or something. And it's... Uh, yeah, it makes sense because the boat is fully loaded with sand. Uh, you can see it, I can, but trust me, this boat is fully loaded. <laughs> Anyways, I am I'm going to try and maybe get a photo here. There's a little bit of decent light looking west and um, I will get to this side of the of the lake or pond puddle, however you want to call it and see if I can snap a photo. So there's at least one photo in this, in, this, in this video. So let's go ahead and shoot right now. So yeah, I was thinking to, to go and take a shot right here. It's not gonna be the most difficult, special or beautiful shot, but I do like the way this puddle of water is shaped. And there's some, some nice light over there right now. I think I'll get the camera to this position right here. Try to get a little bit lower to the ground and uh, get a cool shot to really, really end this video. <laughs> Yeah, this is so typical. Just when I decided to call it a day and get back to the car, <laughs> we, we're we actually getting amazing light right now. It was decent before and it's kind of amazing now. So I think I'll snap one more shot real quick before it disappears. I'm kind of rushing, rushing this shot because the light is on and off. Um, but this is a 125th of a second 
a 16 ISO 160 and you know you see the light it just comes in and out right now really beautiful though really nice these conditions are great you know I'm not even gonna take photos now because I think I I think I have my shot I'm just gonna enjoy the sunshine it has been so very gray cold and moody weather for the past couple of weeks actually that just being here now in this kind of light and conditions because it's it's not too windy it's not very cold uh, there's some nice sunshine out there I'm out here testing equipment um, you know all of that kind of sums up to life being pretty good and then at times you need to appreciate that slow down take in the sights and listen to the silence i guess <laughs>